Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Joe here with Deranged. So as you know, we've been building this KRX for a little while now, and uh, you, you might also know if you've been watching the channel, the budget kind of got a little bit out of control, probably spent a little bit more than we should have on it. Uh, with that said, it's time for some budget options on the, uh, the KRX4. Uh, the place we're gonna start, or the place we're gonna go to today anyway for budget options is storage. There are a ton of options for the back of a KRX4 for, uh, for storage. You can um, look at, I think Super ATV has one. There's the Tesseract box, it's like 800 bucks. There's some uh, some steel options out there that are pretty pretty pricey as well and will carry a spare tire on it for you as well. Kawasaki has one. We didn't wanna go kind of the high-end uh, direction with this. We wanted to go with what's good and good for budget. Um, and that landed us here with this box that we picked up on Amazon. While I'm going through what we did for storage, I'm gonna run you through kind of my loadout so you can see what I carry with me uh, on every ride. So with that said, let's start with the box and jump into it. All right, starting with the box, you can see this is basically an overland carrying case that you can find on Amazon. We'll leave a link to it down below so you can see it. We paid, I think, 149, 139 bucks for it, somewhere around there. Maybe it was 150, I don't know. We'll put the uh, put a link below to Amazon and you can see what it is. But this is basically one of your roto molded, molded uh, coolers without the inside uh, in there, so taken out or whatever. So it's got a seal on the top for dust. It's got these to, uh, to clamp it down real tight as well. And then there's plenty of space in here. Uh, one thing with this one as well, it's also got a drain down here on the front of it as well. So if you did get water in it for whatever reason, you've got a drain to be able to drain it out. So this is what the box looks like. Um, I forget the brand name, it's an off brand name, but, uh, but we'll leave a link to it down below. Again, you're looking at like 150 bucks or whatever for storage. Um, so it's a great option and we, we took a while to, uh, to track it down, but, um, but it, it turned out pretty cool. We're real, ha real happy with it. Um, so with that, let's, uh, let's take a look at the loadout, right? These, these are the things that I carry with me every ride, no matter what. Um, and I'm gonna start with kind of a hillbilly option, and that is these cheap backpacking chairs. These suckers are small, they're cheap, I think they're 15 bucks a piece, something like that, but I use them all the time. It doesn't matter if we're in the dunes or the mountains or whatever, I'll pull this thing out um, and I'll get it set up or whatever and have a place to sit down, uh, usually in the shade somewhere. I keep two of them in my ride, so I always have two of them with me, so there's a place for me and, uh, and my wife to sit at least. So I keep those with me. Um, we'll find a couple options. Uh, those will be linked down below. To keep from saying it all uh, 500 times, basically everything here you see, we'll, we'll, we'll give a link to you down below so you can see what, uh, what they cost and where you can get them from, stuff like that. Um, next thing, probably should have started with this. I always keep a belt on me. We use the, uh, the G-Boost belts. Um, you can find them on our website, uh, but we always use these belts. Um, gotta have one on you just in case. Although the KRX isn't known for throwing belts or losing belts, gotta have one on you because you can't go anywhere without it if you lose it. So um, we keep that on, uh, on the rig at all times. Next is just a good first aid kit. So in, in this first aid kit, I've got you know your regular first aid stuff band-aids, bandages, all that kind of crap. Um, I also keep in here bonine. So a lot of people, so bonine is like Dramamine, but better in my opinion anyway. Works great for seasicknesses, motion sickness, all that kind of stuff. So I keep the dissolvable, kind of chewable ones in here for people to try or for people to have anyway, because uh, some people, especially in the dunes, can get motion sickness in the back. So I keep that in here um, with, with bonine in it. Uh, the next is my toolkit. So I have a toolkit here with all the tools that I'll need for the KRX, um, just kind of the most common uh, sizes and whatnot. Uh, Allen heads and uh, pliers and um, a few ratchets and sockets and whatnot as well. So just kind of the standard stuff. I keep it in this Husky, you know, $9 pouch or whatever that you get at, uh, at Home Depot. Next thing I keep on me is goggles. So oftentimes I'm riding along, my wife wears contacts, my daughter wears contacts. Um, oftentimes they'll want something to shield their eyes from dust or they'll want just protection for their eyes or whatever. So I keep four pairs of goggles in my rig as well. And you know, for that I have an old Husky tie down bag that I will just keep my goggles in there. So they're always in the rig as well. And I keep them in my, uh, in my storage box in the back. 
Next thing I have, and let me go back to my tools real quick. So uh, one thing, I, you, you'll notice none of our rigs have spares on them. We don't really carry spares. Uh, rather than carry spares, we all carry plug kits. Let me see if I can pull mine or find mine in here. There's that piece of it. And then I've got multiple plugs in here as well. So just, uh, we keep the tire plugs on us rather, so we're able to plug holes that they get on the, that we may get on the trail. To be frank, um, I've owned and rode side by sides for uh, I don't know six or seven years, somewhere around there now, and I've never had to plug a hole or had to change tire on the trail or anything else. Um, I don't ride in West Virginia, Tennessee, all that kind of stuff. If you're out there and you're hitting, you know, hard, rough stuff with tree roots and sticks and whatnot all over the place probably a good idea to carry a spare at the very least a bunch of plugs so um, anyway so we have plugs when we need them I also have an air compressor when I need it as well so I do use this quite a bit the reason I use this is because I like to air down my tires um, so I'll usually bring them down to about eight pounds and ride on them at about eight pounds uh, and then if I'm uh, storing it or whatever and not gonna be riding it for a while I'll put it back up to 15 20 pounds that way I don't get flat spots in the tires uh, when I park it for a week or two or whatever when it's sitting in the garage. So if I pump them up to 20, it keeps from that, that from happening. So I keep this on me so that when I'm loading up, I can uh, pump it back up. Or if I need it on the trail, I always have an air compressor on me. This is a great one as well. Um, definitely highly recommend these. They uh, pump up pretty quick and last quite a while. It's 12 volt as well. Uh, with the uh, air compressor, you also need a, um, a tire pressure gauge. Uh, and I love this one. Got this one on Amazon, I think it's 15 bucks or so. Um, the place I originally got one of these is Garrett, because he's such a good friend, um, hooked me and Dave both up with one. And uh, I've used mine ever since. Come with a snazzy little sticker there. Um, but they are great, I use them all the time. It's lasted a long time, cool thing about it, Obviously, number one, it's nice and clear. The letters and whatnot glow. This thing rotates around so you can easily put it where you need to be. And then this is a pressure release as well. So you can either release pressure while you're, you have this on your tire, or you can just you know release what it holds at. Because once you put it on, it will hold the, uh, hold the pressure where it's at. So love this sucker, use it all the time. Um, highly recommend it as well. I always keep one of my tools. Next thing as well is recovery gear. Um, I just got, I, I've had a Husky kind of cheap uh, toe strap for a long time. Um, and I just got this Rhino one. Um, so I'll kind of open it up and show you what it looks like. We really like Rhino products. Um, right here I have some sh soft shackles from Rhino. We have a couple of them. We have a few different things from Rhino, but they do a great job. Uh, so I have some Rhino sh soft shackles. I decided to go with the Rhino recovery rope. So this is what their recovery rope looks like. As you can see, the sucker's big, it's heavy duty, um, it's not going anywhere. So I keep this in the rig in case I need to pull somebody or help recover somebody or shoot, maybe I need recovery as well. Uh, Rhino's gonna send you a bunch of stickers as well with that, a Velcro strap so you can keep this thing strapped up as well, and then a bag to hold it in. So you also get a bag in the box to keep your, uh, keep your recovery uh, rope in. Sucker's plenty big. I'm not sure I need a bag that big for a small recovery rope, but hey, I got it. So um, love the Rhino stuff. We'll link that down below uh, for you as well. And then the last thing, so we got this great box. How are you gonna secure it in the machine? So the way that I ran it on my Talon for a long time and the way that I'm going to run it on this is just using, they're called um, lashing straps or lash straps. Uh, they're kind of like a ratchet strap without a ratchet. They look about like this. So they've just got this little cam on it. You just feed this through one end and then pull it tight and then it'll hold it tight. So I'm gonna run it through right here uh, on the sides of the box. It has a space for it to go through. And then you uh, run it through your, uh, your hooks that are in the bed of your, uh, uh, your KRX and it will uh, hold it for you. So I'm gonna get this box loaded up and then show you how I uh, strap it into the machine.
Okay, the plan was to uh, show you how I secure it into the machine, but unfortunately these uh, lashing straps I got are not quite long enough. So I'll have to tell you instead of show you. So right over here on the side of the, uh, the box, you'll see there are multiple mounting points right here. So you just run the lash strap through there, run it down to your hook back there, and uh, basically pull through the cam and pull like you would a regular old uh, lashing strap or whatever. So you do that on both sides uh, and then it just holds it in there nice. Makes it easy, kind of easy to pull it out and whatnot as well. You don't have to un undo a bunch of bolts or brackets or whatever else. Undo the lashing strap, comes right out. Makes for easy cleaning, that kind of stuff. So one thing I will point out as well, uh, I have this box in here with the sub. So there's not a lot of boxes or options for a KRX uh, bed where you have the sub in place as well. Uh, this box fits. The only thing I will say is when it's all the way forward like this without having a platform or anything down here, so it's just up against the plastic here like this, um, you're not gonna be able to open it all the way without, you know, you, you can only open it to right there with the sub in the way. Um, you can open it a little bit more if you did that. Uh, one thing I will do, I haven't done it now, but one thing I will do is get, um, I saw somebody I wish I remembered their name, but I saw somebody on Facebook. At Home Depot, you can get one inch, basically one inch thick or so rubber mat. And um, they had cut a piece out that fit in the bottom of the bed, put it right there to kind of level it out with the front here. And that allows them to slide it forward or whatever. I'm going to be doing that with this. Um, eventually, didn't get it this time, but yeah, get some rubber mat, put it under there, um, and then you can strap it down and be able to open that up all the way. So. Um, anyway, that's how it goes in. That's what the box looks like. Real happy with the box, really ha happy with the design. Um, Got to have this kind of stuff on you if you're going to go out riding, especially if you're out riding alone. Uh, you just have to have it with you. So uh, tell us what you think about the products down below. What do you do for storage? Uh, have you found a box that works better? Uh, let us know uh, down below uh, what you found or what you like to keep on you. Um, I'm always open to suggestions. Uh, obviously, I'm not a genius, don't know it all, but I uh, feel like we've got a pretty good grasp on what you need to keep with you just for general writing and whatnot. Um, if you have any questions, leave those in the comments down below as well. Uh, we'll we'd love to answer them and, and chat with you there. With that said, guys, we got some good content coming on a couple different things. We'll probably do some, some information on the uh, Honda Talon R4 coming out soon, a couple other things as well. Um, so, you know, keep an eye out on the channel. If you haven't subscribed uh, already, do so if you don't want to miss out. Uh, other than that, guys, appreciate you watching. Ride safe, pack out what you pack in, and we'll see you on the next one.